What's up, everyone? How are you guys and gals doing there? Welcome to the show. Today, we're going to be talking about something that really came out of the fact that people have been emailing me saying I was a turncoat for supporting somebody that was in law enforcement for law enforcement. And yes, it happens to be Donald Trump. But what they don't know, there is two different shows that I do. I only talk about biker stuff over on Insane Throttle and on the Madhouse show I do a completely different format. If you've noticed, we've really been pushing hard for the Madhouse show because just like everyday citizens that are, that's what bikers are, everyday citizens, and we got other interests besides biker stuff, okay? We got other issues. But anyway, outlaw bikers and drug dealing exposed. That's going to be the topic of this one. Ride or die, 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 ride or die fly. Know that they ride or die. Hold these brothers, my guys. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. I keep wearing them. Now, it really came to effect. Uh, Sorry about that. Today, show or yesterday's show or whenever you're gonna see it it had a segment on there where trump put a new proposal forward saying that he was going to take criminal gangs and cartels money and send it over to the families which i 100 approve but then I started talking about MCs and the unfortunate deal where a lot of their members get busted doing drug dealing, illegal stuff. And even though it's not the whole club doing it, law enforcement still views them as a criminal gang and can have it where it falls into this plan. Now, let me give you the plan and what was said uh, with this. And this is out of the New York Post. Trump announces plan to seize cartel assets to aid families victimized by uh, migrant uh, crime. It's by the New York Post. And Donald Trump said Tuesday his administration will seize assets of criminal gangs. And this is a quote and drug cartels and give the proceeds to families affected by migrant uh, crime if he's elected the 47th president next week. The funds, the 78-year-old, you uh, notice how they have to put in there, uh, told reporters at Mar-a-Lago would create a compensation fund for victims of crimes committed by those in the U.S. illegally, and the government will help in the restoration and it goes on to say the tactic has long been used by the federal government against drug trafficking organizations and former Drug Enforcement Administration officials call asset seizure an effective tool in the pursuit of justice. Now, right there tells you they were already doing it. We all know that and it's been done, but now there's going to be an emphasis on how they do things and when you have a club that is designated a criminal gang they can do this kind of stuff there's actually been uh you know court cases about this where one club would hurt somebody else kill them or something and the whole family sees the whole club and thank goodness thank goodness that it didn't go through because then there would be precedent and this really could devastate clubs because as you know clubs have clubhouses uh they got merchandising all that kind of stuff that the feds could come up after them for another thing that really upset people was the fact that i said and i'll say it right here if you're busted selling dope you need to go to jail because as i've learned as you get older you got your kids your grandkids i don't want them getting a hold of that stuff actually if you're in the selling the harder core stuff yeah 
rot for all I care, man. And people were like, hey, Hollywood, how could you say something like that? You know some of the guys are involved in that. Well, that's on them, man. Do they want to hustle? Do your hustle. But I have no sympathy for you. None whatsoever. When you get busted, no, I'm not going to donate to your defense funds. What I do say is the club should get rid of you and strip your patch. But we all know that's not going to happen. But with somebody like Trump coming in, he means what he says. And if he says, hey, we're going to start going after criminal gangs and the cartel, you better take that serious because he is not joking around whatsoever. Let's continue the story here. Uh, expanded its use to compensate victims of violent crime adds a powerful layer of support by redirecting money and assets seized from criminal organizations and there is the big word right there criminal organizations and we know that a lot of the feds have branded mc certain ones of them criminal organizations involved in drug trafficking gang violence and other harmful activities and a former new york dea chief ronald david told the post Quote, this approach not only disrupts criminal enterprises, but also provides direct aid to those impacted by such violence. And it goes on to say, yes, the asset forfeiture program has been a huge success, and it would be great to pay back victims that were hurt by these savages. Now, I wouldn't put MCs in the category of savages, but if something does go down and somebody does get hurt, and if it's just ridiculous, anything other than self-defense, you're supposed to be an MC, you're supposed to be riding motorcycles, all that yah, yah, yah crap. I never defend the drug dealing, man never going to because it's sick you're hurting other people and you're probably destroying your own life uh let's see here uh i know we talk about inflation and economy but there's to me there's nothing nothing more important than the fabric of our country being destroyed by people placed there violently placed there and we all know how trump <laughs> talks you know he does that swagger and uh, eventually he gets back to the point but he gets what he wants in there and if you ever watch the show the madhouse podcast which we really uh do encourage you to go over to rumble or x because a lot of times on the madhouse uh channel here on youtube a lot gets taken down uh because they don't want the truth out there hell no they don't want the truth uh out on youtube so it is important that you go over to those two platforms and check us out and also on spotify you'll hear the replays of the show anyway so i hopefully that is a good explanation to those frantically saying that i oppose mcs and that you're siding with somebody with law enforcement come on man get real you don't want that stuff hidden either on the streets getting in your kids hands your grandkids hands you don't want that act all tough you want on the internet we all know there's a lot of that but look deep downside would you support an mc who does that and doesn't take care of the members that are bringing the heat down on them and this is a serious business now like i said he will use it and if you're throwing clubs into that category clubs could be facing some uh, pretty hard times so i suggest clubs get a handle on these members that are making you look bad and are making you really looking bad into the public let's just put it that way because there's been incidents after incidents that's making you look bad and it allows them to call you a criminal gang man let me know in the comment section don't forget to get the book as uh you know brotherhood and betrayal over on amazon it's really kicking butt over there make sure you get it uh it's not censoring none of that stuff to the point and it talks about a lot of stuff in there Rock out. is an in-depth look at the trials and tribulations of street gang and motorcycle club life. 
This isn't the run-of-the-mill book that doesn't give the goods. This book will go into detail of events that actually happen. All materials in this book have been approved by those involved. There is nothing poetic, nor is there any price worth paying for the life we choose to live on the streets. James Hollywood Machikari, Brotherhood and Betrayal. Check out the Madhouse Morning Show, hosted by me, James Hollywood Machikari, co-hosted by the lovely China Dow, uncensored and non-politically correct. Join us as we cover everything from breaking news, politics, and everything else under the sun. The Morning Madhouse streams live on Rumble, X, and YouTube. So join the conversation and give a show a follow. See you then. Rock on! Go visit one of the original Biker Lifestyle and Biker News YouTube channels where you will get in the know on what's happening in the biker scene, biker news, op-eds, and more from me, James Hollywood Machikari. Monday and Thursday is a new video on topics happening in the scene. Get on over there, get to the channel, and subscribe. Rock on!